because it'll be upside down. You getting that? Yes. What I do is just slide it in. I usually spray some WD-40 and make sure you got this. Give it a few taps. I use a soft hammer with something soft. Okay, that looks like it's in. Alright, that's how you get those two main pieces together. You can press that. The machine's gonna come with two half inch bolts that are like four, four and a half inches. And they go in this way. And you gotta lift up and down. This this wood might be in the way. You gotta lift up and down to get it. Actually I gotta hit it more. Tap this in more. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you gotta wiggle it up and down like that. Okay, that one's halfway in. I'm not going to fully tighten the tighten these pieces because um, it's just a waste of time. You know that it, you need to tighten it. Alright, into this one. Once you have these on, these two side ones, this big three-quarter bolt screws in all the way to there. just bring it like right before it touches that edge and that's the main the main body <coughs> it would hold up once it's tightened Let me see real quick. I'm gonna record these on these are the arm attachments it's basically just putting a bolt in each slot and the slanted part is on the rear side The axle to the wheel. This is attached to the bolt. It's a long bolt that goes through. And you need to lock it in place with these two 5.8 bolts. Same thing on the other side. Long bolt goes through. Lock the bolt in with opposing force of one nut going tightening and the other one tightening against it and you got two hinges right there these are the adjusting arms to raise this machine and this is probably the hardest part of using this machine can you uh, record this part right here and show how like this is pretty much on the floor mm -hmm. Let me actually get this piece of wood out of here. You can get out of there now. I don't want the wood to hold this up. Well, it's just to show that it's low to the ground. Alright, so record this as I turn this. As I turn this, this part right here, see where I'm pointing? The whole thing is gonna raise, and I want to capture that so you can see. Ready? Oh, 
that's actually going down. As I turn to the left, that's making me a liar. Hold on. It's because of this piece. Alright. As I turn this to the left, make sure you catch that too as it goes up. See how it's going up? Mm -hmm. And it raises it. This is how you set the height for the wheel. And then you do the other side. This side right here. I should raise it. Is it going up? I think it's going right? No. Let's see. This has to be loose when you do it. Yeah, it's going up. Record. Oh, okay, never mind. You're kind of close, too. The farther you are, probably the better you can see it. Go up and probably you still. So this raises and lowers the height. One thing you gotta know, make sure you look, you got this part on is this part right here spins independently from this nut. So if this is turning, and if that nut is turning, it's not gonna raise. Sometimes I lubricate this so that doesn't happen. Huh? I'm making it shine. You can't see what you like. There we go. That has a light too. So when you spin this arm, make sure this nut right here isn't spinning. <coughs> and you can raise the height of up and down. That's pretty clear. This spins and it's lowering. As long as this nut is not spinning, it'll go up and down. That's Do you see the um, height going up? Mm -hmm. You getting that on the camera? Yep. Okay. And that's how you set the axle height. Once, what, get a little bit closer. That's good. Once you set the axle height that you want it, or the final height, you need to lock this arm down. And in order to do that, what you do, I have to show him a picture of the mechanism in here so he can understand. But you tighten this nut to the right until it bottoms out against this. I'm going to take these apart and then make a video to show them how it works. Because this can confuse a person. Alright, so it bottomed out right there. Say that's your set height. That's bottomed out to this wide round washer. You got this nut? You getting that? Mm -hmm. This piece right here gets tightened up against that. Where is the other uh, wrench? Okay. And what you want to do. them against each other it doesn't have to be really hard just like that and that's good to go that's not gonna go anywhere and this won't go back and forth you do the same thing on the other side okay and that's how you adjust the uh, the height or the axle that's how you set the height for you for this machine on a bike and the way I I do it, I like to I like it to be like a tricycle that you can move side to side and not one only one t wheel is touching at a time. All right, you can shut it off.
if you can see the tilt on it. I'm going to clean it up before I send it, but... I don't know if you can see that, but it's lowering as you turn that. And that nut right there isn't supposed to spin. If it spins, you got to put a wrench on it to loosen it and maybe even hold it and then spin it. I just took the bolt off this arm and then you take a bolt off of the other end. See if you can get a picture of that. These arms can go, they're interchangeable so if you put one on the other side it doesn't matter. Now I'm taking off the A-arm. The A-arms aren't interchangeable. All you really need to know is the flat side faces forward like the whole unit. And this hinge over here is facing upwards. And that's how you know it's in the right direction. So you just take these bolts out those two and it comes right off <coughs> these are the spindles that attach to the axle just thread it in like that one thing you do need to know when you install these they're loose fit they come on and they come off. Hold on. Ah, I put that in the wrong one. Yeah. These are loose fit. They just come on and they come off. Like that. Now, there's, this one goes on the left side or the right side depending on um, which direction. But you'll notice this right here this little rod sticking out is longer than on that side and you'll notice on these tapers that there's one hole that's shorter than the other the longer one goes on the longer spindle and the shorter one goes on the shorter spindle and that's how you know if you're ever moving this and you have this attached make sure you don't Tip it to the side or it'll just fall off. But yeah. That's how that works. Okay. This nut right here. Spins. There's a bolt. Let me see if I can explain. There is a bolt head inside this tube that goes against this washer right here. You can't see it. So it spins independently from this piece right here. This nut is only here to lock this piece onto this that's all this nut is for it allows you to adjust the height of the wheeling machine without having to detach any one of these points that's why it's built that way it's a lot more convenient as far as the back swivel part right here it's not attached right now. I just took out this bolt. This bolt comes from under into that hinge right there. 
it's kind of separated at the moment. Let's see if you can see better. Once you get this white hinge lined up with that black one, there's two of them on each side. Let's see if you can see. You put this bolt in from the bottom and then you tighten the top piece but you come up from here it's hard to see but let me see if I can get the camera view There's the top right there. Uh, let me see if I can do this. It's basically like any other hinge. Once you have it together, that goes up from the bottom. And you tighten the top. And you're good to go. These hooks are self-explanatory. A circular hook goes on to that part and the one that's like an actual hook goes to the back end over there on this loop that hook loop right over there and then you twist it to get the right tension 